Hello everyone, my name is Manish Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about meaning, nature and scope of agriculture economics. What do you mean by agriculture economics? Agriculture economics is branch of economics in which general principles and methods of economics applied in agriculture industry. Agriculture economics is branch of economics in which general principles and methods of economics applied in agriculture industry. Or we can say that agriculture economics analyze how farmers and agricultural businesses can best use their limited resources like land, labor and capital in order to increase their production and profit. For example, disguised unemployment is major problem of agriculture sector. Disguised unemployment means more people are working than actual required. For example, in order to work in particular land, we need only five people, but whole 10 member of family are working. Difference between 10 and 5 is 5. This 5 will be called disguise unemployment because these 5 people are not giving any contribution in production. In economic term, we can say that marginal productivity of these 5 people is 0. And agriculture economics help to reduce the disguise unemployment by improving agricultural productivity and finding non-agricultural jobs. Now we will see nature of agriculture economics. Uses general principle of economics. Agriculture economics uses a general principle of economics. For example, low variable proportion is general principle of economics. And agriculture economics use this principle in order to analyze agriculture sector, both theoretical and applied in nature. Agriculture economics is theoretical because it involves so many theories of cost, production, and demand. Agriculture economics is applied in nature because it applied economic principle in order to solve real problem of agriculture sector, both micro as well as macro economics. Micro means when we study at individual level and agriculture economics analyze the decision making of individual farmers. Macro means when we study at a whole level and agriculture economics describe relationship of agriculture sector with the rest of the world. So we can say that agriculture economics include macroeconomics. Normative science, agriculture economics mainly is normative science. Normative science based on opinion, suggestion, mainly focus on what should be. And agriculture economics is normative because it involves opinion and suggestion of so many economists. For example, Meller model of agriculture development suggests three phrases of agriculture development. Static, both static as well as dynamic. Static means fixed which are not changing constant. And agriculture economics is static because it analyzes situation where all factor of production are fixed. It is also dynamic in nature. Dynamic means a continuous changing. And agriculture economics analyze situation where weather is continuous changing, prices are continuous changing, even government policies are continuous changing. So we can say that agriculture economics is both static as well as dynamic, both science as well as art. Agriculture economics is science because it uses scientific principle in order to analyze economic data. It is art because it involves creativity in adopting theoretical knowledge. Now we will see scope of agriculture economics. Scope of agriculture economics means what topics we study in agriculture economics. First scope is economics of agriculture production. In agriculture economics, we study about uh, production of agriculture sector, whether farmers produce for themselves or for market, how much they produce, how much capital they use, how much labor they use and how they can increase their productivity. Second scope is problem of agriculture sector and solution. In agriculture economics, we study about uh, problems of agriculture sector, for example, Soil degradation, dependence on monsoon, low productivity, financial problem and disguise unemployment. We also study about solution of these problem. For example, we study about land reform, support price policy and green revaluation. Next scope is agriculture credit. Agriculture economics study about source of finance for farmers so that they can invest in modern technology. 
For example, in India, National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development provide credit and other facilities to farmer for agriculture purpose. Agricultural marketing. Agriculture marketing is system of buying and selling agricultural product. And agriculture economics study about distribution of a product from farm to consumer. It also study about pricing, market structure. Agriculture economics study about problems of agriculture or marketing. For example, lack of transportation, lack of information, lack of storage, distribution problem. And also suggest a solution for all this problem. Agriculture economics uh, include concept of demand, supply and uh, prices of agricultural uh, goods. For example, it include demand theories, pricing theory, support price policy, price control and subsidy system. Agricultural policies and programs. Government adopt so many agricultural policies and programs in order to increase agricultural production. And agriculture economics study about all these policies and programs. Some examples of agriculture policies and programs in India. National Agriculture Policy, Pradhan Mantri Kisan Saman Nidhi, National Agriculture Insurance Scheme, Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana. And agriculture economics also study about agricultural taxes. As we know, big farmers are required to pay some taxes. And agriculture economics, we study agriculture taxes and their impact on farm productivity. Next is agriculture sector and international trade. Agriculture economics suggests how through agriculture sector we can increase our export. For example, before green revaluation, India was importing wheat from other countries. But green revaluation is a miracle for Indian agriculture. It transforms India from food deficit nation to exporter of grains. Currently, India is exporting so many agricultural products. For example, basmati rice, known basmati rice, spices, tea, pulses, fruit, vegetable, sugars, rural and agriculture development. That means improving economic and social condition of rural area through agriculture and non-agricultural activities. For example, focus on increasing production, increasing productivity, increasing income of farm, improving food security, promote sustainable agriculture. And agriculture economics all include all these uh, topics. So this is all about agriculture economics. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.